He normally would just eat the apples that were right outside of his house, but he had always been tantalized by the sugar apple trees that were inside of the fenced off section of Komodo Island. This section was of course teeming with Komodo dragons, and so as a result, the locals basically fenced it off. But Mohammed had always wanted those sugar apples. He'd grown up here. He never got to have one. And so this day, for whatever reason, he decided, today's the day I'm gonna get one. And so after looking around and feeling like the coast was clear, he hopped the fence and he ran out to the sugar apple tree. He's reaching out and extending his arm just far enough. He wants to get one more apple and he loses his footing and he falls to the ground. These two massive creatures are running and grunting at full speed towards Muhammad. Muhammad, when he fell, he had cut himself and they smelled his blood and they charged over. The authorities were able to get out there pretty quickly and they were able to get the Komodo dragons off before they actually consumed him, but he was already dead.